क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about the physical properties of ammonia and now we are going to talk about the chemical reactions of ammonia so what are those chemical reactions so let me talk about that in this topic so friends here we are going to talk about the chemical reactions of the ammonia and starting with the first one that is what is the action of ammonia with excess amount of air so this is what i want to talk about so here basically we are reacting ammonia in presence of that is oxygen and obviously this oxygen is present in air and that is without using any kind of catalyst and uh, the product that is what we could get that is 2 moles of nitrogen along with that of 6 moles of h2 so this could be done at a giving a particular temperature suppose if we are reacting ammonia with oxygen and that also in presence of that is platinum and a temperature of that is 1100 kelvin so therefore the product that is what we could get is 4 moles of nitric oxide along with that of 6 moles of water so therefore there are different reactions that is what we could see depending upon the catalyst that is what we have used so this are the two different reactions that is what we have talked about where we can obtain nitrogen or either else we can obtain that is nitric oxide if we are using platinum as a catalyst so therefore this was the reaction and now let me talk about the another one so the other reaction that is i am going to talk about is the action of ammonia with halogens so in this case let me talk about whenever the ammonia is treated with that is 3 moles of cl2 or suppose halogen so the for the product that is what we could get is 6 moles of ammonium chloride along with that of that is nitrogen as a gaseous molecule and in this case suppose the alternative method where basically the ammonia is treated with excess amount of cl2 here basically if we compare that is there are 8 moles of ammonia that is reacting with 3 moles of cl2 but in this reaction basically 1 mole of ammonia is reacting with 3 moles of cl2 that means in this case the chlorine molecule is basically in an excess amount so whenever the reaction will proceed it will proceed to give us the product that is known as that is nitrogen trichloride along with that of 3 moles of hcl so this was the reaction of ammonia with chlorine molecule so what is the reaction of ammonia with bromine this is what i am going to talk about so talking about the reaction of ammonia with bromine so this is basically 8 moles of nh3 so this is very much similar to that of the previous one that is what we have discussed so therefore 8 moles of ammonia it will react with 3 moles of br2 so as to obtain 6 moles of ammonium bromide along with that of nitrogen that will be liberated in the form of gas but talking about whenever the nh3 is treated with excess amount of bromine molecule so it will produce that is nitrogen tribromide along with that of 3 moles of hbr as a by product so therefore this was the reaction of that is halogen for example that is chlorine as well as bromine or ammonia but now let me talk about the reaction of ammonia with that is iodine so here basically two moles of ammonia it will react with three moles of i2 so as to obtain that is nh3 and i3 the name of this is nitrogen triiodide ammonia along with that of three moles of hi it will be produced and this is basically a brown ppt that is what we could get and once this brown ppt is heated so on decomposition basically it will produce five moles of n2 along with that of nine moles of that is i2 and six moles of ammonium iodide so therefore this was the reaction of ammonia with halogens so now let us move on to the next one so the next reaction is action of ammonia with sodium metal so whenever sodium metal is reacted with ammonia and that also at a temperature of 575 kelvin so therefore the product that is what we could obtain is soda amide that is nanh2 along with the liberation of h2 gas so even this was a reaction and now let me talk about the next one so now let us understand what is the action of ammonia on copper ions and agcl so therefore there are two different reaction that i am going to talk about so here basically we are using copper ion that is cu2 plus ion and along with that of suppose if we are reacting with 4 moles of nh3 we know that is this cu2 plus ion it could be cuso4 so whenever cuso4 is treated with ammonia obviously we understand that is cuso4 is blue in color but this will form a complex and this is a complex that is what we could get of copper and this is a complex that will be very much deep blue in color and this is how we see the reaction proceeds and okay about the another reaction that is the action of nh3 with agc so in this case the ag has an oxidation state of plus 1 but whenever the ammonia is treated with agcl again it will form a complex and that is nothing but ag nh3 twice cl so in this case the agcl is actually white in color but whenever it is treated with ammonia it will become a complex and this complex is actually colorless so by this color also we can differentiate whether the reaction is occurred or not so these are the two reactions that is what i have discussed about and now let me talk about the next one so the next is action of ammonia with nesler's reagent so therefore this is the nesler reagent that is k2hgi4 whenever the nesler reagent is treated with ammonia and that also in a basic condition 
that is in presence of a base like three moles of QH. Therefore, a compound is being produced, and this compound is known as iodide of Milan space, and that is NH2NGO NGI, and which is basically brown. PPD. Along with that of that is 7 moles of Ki, along with that of that is 2 moles of H2, it will be produced as a byproduct. So this is the reaction where we can predict whether the reaction has been occurred or not depending on the formation of the PPT or depending on the formation of this brown color solution. So that's it. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have understood the chemical reactions of the ammonia and uh, I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.